Hey, what's up, everybody? Moppet here from Eat Sleep Mix Repeat. Review day! Alright. Oh, yeah, uh, got your guys' recipes mixed up. So, be expecting those videos to start popping up. Well, you know, I want to give them at least like two or three weeks. So, uh, yeah, probably in a couple weeks. Start getting those videos going. But, they all look and smell delicious. I'm really excited to try them out. Let's get back to our business for today. So, so our first recipe up for review today is a uh, <clears throat> is Drop Zone Two by Third World Order. Recipe reads: five percent TFA cheesecake ground crust, six percent TFA peanut butter, seven percent TFA strawberry ripe, and two percent Capella uh, vanilla custard. Which, if you guys saw my post, I did order more vanilla custard. I can't believe I ran out. Like, what the fuck is wrong with me? Don't run out of vanilla custard. Just just don't do it. It's a bad. It's bad for everybody. But I ordered a four-ounce bottle. And then I have no self-control, so I ordered a bunch of flora and a couple other things that I've been looking at. So, you know, you gotta get the free shipping. You gotta spend $75 to get the free shipping, so... Yeah, I don't have self-control. Um, oh yeah, so this recipe. So, drop zone to by a third world order. Um, it sounds interesting, like peanut butter, uh, strawberry peanut butter cheesecake, you know. That sounds pretty good, um, and I think it could be really good if you if you executed it right. Um, this isn't—it's not bad. It's just I don't know. I don't—I don't feel like strawberry ripe is really the right um, the right strawberry to use. And then, man, I don't know if the sprinklers are coming in on the mic. Right. Um, I don't know if strawberry ripe was like the right strawberry to use and it's used up kind of high too I don't think you really need that much strawberry it's probably I think the focus should have been on the peanut butter and then just kind of like hinted in the strawberry there because uh, the strawberry just kind of it kind of distracts in the recipe just like kind of distracts from peanut butter and the well not really the cheesecake strawberry cheesecake's really good but it definitely distracts from the peanut butter it kind of gives it this like and then when you do taste the peanut butter it i don't know it kind of makes it taste weird and a lot of that i think is using the wrong strawberry and then some of it is using it too i think too high but uh so i think like you know capella sweet strawberry would have been you know like a lower percentage would have been a lot better It just like, I don't know, with strawberry ripe and peanut butter, it just, it gives it this weird, like, off note, kind of. It's kind of hard to, like, really put my finger on and explain it, but. Strawberry ripe has that kind of, like, tart, a little bit of tartness to it, compared to, you know, like, sweet strawberry or some of the, yeah, more candy-like strawberries. And, um, with the peanut butter, yeah, I don't know, tart and peanut butter kind of kind of clash weird almost like like think about like try and think of your head right now like like a citrus and peanut butter you know like it's kind of kind of weird tasting right like just even thinking about it it's kind of like i don't know that's kind of the off note i feel like i'm getting in this so i kind of like the uh, flavor profile idea though i might I might try and pull off a strawberry peanut butter cheesecake sounds pretty good but, um, yeah, I just, I just feel like this wasn't a very good execution of it. So, yeah, I'm going to give this one a 2 out of 5. Because I'm really not liking it. And I'm not going to finish vaping. I didn't even really get through that much because I just wasn't enjoying it. So, uh, this one's going in the box to get dumped out and cleaned out. So, 
So, yeah, that one was a little disappointing, but it's not over. We still got more. Professional, always, every video. <laughs> God bless all your hearts that you keep watching my show. <laughs> Love you guys. Alright. <clears throat> so next one we got is a Blueberry Muffin V1 by Brinette. Cool name. And the nuts as a Z at the end and stuff an S. <laughs> I'm in a weird mood this morning. Alright. So, Blueberry Muffin V1 by Brin Nuts. Uh, reads, half a percent TFA acetylpyrazine, 2% FA bilberry, 6% TFA blueberry extra, 3% Capella cinnamon danish swirl, half a percent FA joy, and half a percent uh, FA meringue. This one's pretty good. A little high on the bilberry, which, you know, bilberry. I was actually kind of surprised. So I remember when I mixed this up and I was like, oh god, 2% bilberry, it's gonna be awful. Um, it's actually not awful. Yeah, I think uh, the, uh, the bilberry could be brought down a little bit, but it's kind of funny because, you know, because I mix these up and then, like, I give them, I always give them, like, when did I mix this? I mix this one up on the 12th. Yeah, because I kind of feel a little behind on my mixing up for a recipes review. I usually give them a little bit longer, but um, I mix this one up on the 12th. And, I don't know, I remember when I mixed it up and I was, like, putting 2% bilberry in there. And I was like, oh, God, I don't want to put 2% bilberry in there. But um, it's actually not that bad in that aspect. You don't really get... You know, it's not like overly like floral or earthy. Which usually like in the rare, I don't really use bilberry that much anymore. I never was like a huge fan of it. But even when I do use it, I don't use it above like half a percent. Because it does tend to like get really weird. Like really weird. Um, here it actually, it kind of works. Yeah, I really don't have a huge explanation for why. It's probably the cinnamon Danish swirl, maybe with the cinnamon. Cause you like, you almost don't like really get the cinnamon that much. The cinnamon more adds to like the bakery aspect of it. But I think the cinnamon and like the kind of floral notes and the blueberry and stuff almost like cancel each other out. So you kind of get like the better parts of both of those. You know, I don't always say that cause I don't, I'm not a huge cinnamon fan, but I do like the bakery aspect of cinnamon Danish swirl. I mean, the cinnamon's good too every once in a while, but, um, yeah, this one, it, it works. It's it's pretty well put together. Um, what else? And you get a surprisingly, like, good bakery notes for not really using a whole lot of bakery. I mean, you got, yeah, 3% cinnamon Danish swirl, which is, like, kind of on the lower end of what, you know, people would usually use it at. And then the half percent joy. You know, joy adds some, like, kind of bakery, almost like a yeastiness. Which is kind of good. The joy, it kind of makes it, um, it's almost like a muffin top, you know? Like, you really don't get, like, the, like, crumbly, like, kind of bottom part of the muffin. It's almost like a straight, like, if you see, you could just, like, they just sell, like, muffin tops sometimes. It's kind of what this reminds me of, just like a, like a blueberry muffin top. <clears throat> it's not my favorite, um, blueberry vape, or even blueberry bakery vape, but... That I've done or that I've tried uh, but that's because there's so many so I've tried you know quite a few of them but it's definitely really good um, yeah I definitely this one I don't want to give it this one gets like a three and a half out of five like it's it's pretty good 
there's definitely better blueberry bakeries out there. But if you have the flavorings, like, yeah, definitely worth mixing up. I, would, well, I probably wouldn't mix it up again just because there's other ones out there. But, you know, it's definitely one I would suggest to people mixing. It's good. It's got, um, there's some good things going on with it. Yeah, like I said, just uh, that combination of cinnamon Danish swirl and joy is really good. Um, I'm, so, oh yeah, and the Cedal Pearzine kind of, I guess, probably really is what kind of kicks it up and gives it that, that bakery, that bakery texture. Um, yeah, I'm just kind of impressed that they managed to use bilberry at 2% and not make it taste weird. Good job, Brin Nuts. Alright. How are we at? 11 minutes? Right on. Okay, I think I already dropped this one. Alright, recipe of the week. I need to stop mixing up Darren Cole's fucking recipes, because, yeah. I just, he was, he was recipe of the week like two weeks ago, wasn't it? Yeah. He kills it, dude. He's just such a good mixer. God damn it. All right, so, uh, Circus Cookie Remix by Daz Cool. Um, oh, to be fair, I guess this was kind of a collaboration. He says, this is a remix of the infamous Circus Cookie E-Liquid, which I haven't had commercial E-Liquid in I don't even know how long anymore. And I didn't, I don't know, even back when I, before I DIY'd, I was cheap ass and I bought like house juices, so. Um, Anyways, it was created by three mixers, including myself, Aaron Voss, and John, and Jill Solosi. Okay. Um, so credit has to go to all three of us. So I figure I would at least put that out there, since he obviously wants credit going to the people who helped him out with the recipe. So um, there's more in the description if you guys want to go and read it. Yeah. Links are down in the description. Is that what people do? They point down. Which is really weird, like when you're on this side of the camera, you're just like pointing down. Like I'm just pointing at my table right now. But to you guys, you're like, oh yeah, it's like pointing at the description. When they have to sort of pull up, up, they're like, look at this. But really, I'm not pointing at anything. Weird. Weird mood today, I'm telling you guys. Alright, um, so we got 1% Capella buttercream, half a percent flavor our cookie, 0.75% uh, flavor West hazelnut. 0.75% F.A. Joy, 2% F.A. Marshmallow, uh, half a percent F.A. Meringue, 2% In Aware Shisha Strawberry, 4% Capella Sugar Cookie, and 2.5% T.F.A. Vanilla Bean Ice Cream. Yeah, fucking, that's good. So this is like kind of a weird one because at first it, w it didn't really taste like what I was expecting it to. Um, this is more like like the frosting on the sugar cookies more than the actual like cookies. Like you get a little bit of like the cookie texture and stuff, but it's definitely focused more on like nailing that straw or the that kind of like strawberry vanilla. That kind of like strawberry vanilla frosting they got on them. And he nails that, like, they just, they nailed that, like, really well. And, um, I have a feeling that's why they couldn't really focus, like, quite as much on, like, the cookie, like, the texture and stuff, like, what I usually bitch about. But with this one, I'm not going to, because they nailed that frosting down. And I know that was probably not an easy feat, because, uh, he'll look at all the, he said they went through, like, quite a bit of revision, so... Just the way they did it translated to vape really nicely. So, um, yeah, yeah, this one, um, I'm gonna go ahead and just give it a five out of five because it's just it's just a really well made recipe. I know a lot of work went into this one. Uh, it tastes awesome. I made a 30 mil, which I'm glad because I'm definitely gonna vape through the whole thing. It's one I would definitely mix again. Definitely suggest other people to mix. Some pretty interesting things happening in it. Um, yeah, the little bit of hazelnut is kind of nice because you don't taste it, but you could tell it. It definitely adds 
it definitely adds to um, to the recipe. Well, yeah, two percent. The strawberry is like perfect in it. It's not too much, not too little. Like it's just enough where where you kind of get it, you know, in there. Um, what else? Yeah, it's just it's just a well put together recipe. It just it just nails it. Awesome. I'm gonna probably take a break from <laughs> mixing up Darren's like recipes because I don't want it just like every other week to be a Darren Cole recipe. <laughs> so <laughs> sorry, Darren, but good job, man. You're awesome. Mix your you're too good, too good to for me to mix up all your recipes and just you know. Yeah, really good though. I'm enjoying it. So, yeah, that's what I got for you guys this week. Um, I believe next week's the Tim Shea episode. I'm excited for that one. Yeah. So, looks like we'll be looking at Tim Shea. Then we'll probably have um, probably just one more, like, kind of regular, you know, random mixers. And then after that, probably a couple weeks. I think I got enough for, like, two weeks of doing... Um, doing your guys' recipes. I'm super excited for that. Can't wait. So, till next time you guys. Keep mixing.